how do you see that adoption is going now because one thing to me it's still a huge gap okay the possibilities of what's possible okay these fun videos these fabulous examples right and yet when i speak with industry leaders all right they're kind of you know reluctant in many ways so how do you see it's happening right now meaning that uh, what is it shifting is it even shifting towards yeah, yeah I, I, I think it's shifting and what you know what surprised me when it was earlier this year even like kenya nairobi it was so interesting to see the talent there and the eagerness to learn and playing it's, it's like a it's like this wonderful toolbox where they start playing around with the technology now the question is can you actually create scalable solutions that's meaningful for for a country for the world so 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 that is the challenge so I think it's very early days. I, I, it, the, the adoption is disproportionate. It's not, uh, obviously, because of maturity of where people are. I can see, for instance, in a country like the UAE, for instance, that given their focus on these kind of things, everything is so smooth and slick um, that, that in Singapore, if you think about those kind of countries as well. So things are moving quicker. Um, so, and, and there is guidance needed. Um, so... You, so if we want to help the countries that's slower, uh, we don't want countries to be left behind. I, I do think more about humanity as a, like, like a body and cells in a body. All the, and it's so important that we look after and help um, countries that's lagging as well. Um, and, and, and obviously, sometimes the countries, the people that's leading is, is stand in the way. So people are typically the greatest enemy of, of progress as well so so it needs to be um, and sometimes democratic processes is also keeping things done or bureaucracy so this is why in some countries where you've got more kind of say china for instance the reason why they can grow or at least also progress quicker is because they're looking at the longer term vision and they're trying to align people as well not everything is perfect uh, but but it's it's um, in smaller countries it's easier if you think of some, some smaller countries in europe um the scandinavian countries or some of the other countries where it's less people um where where the, where the thinking is probably more in tune with one another and uh, that you can progress in that regard so so i do think yeah so it's very it's on a spectrum i think so so we just need to to try and move it up and, and improve. And I think it's important for countries to also set an example um, of what can be done. Because um, if, if you see really good examples that's working, then other countries can follow and say, we want to do the same. If, if you fly across the globe, you can, you can see how people, how quickly technology and systems and infrastructure look similar so as humanity, we are really doing a good job of just copying what other countries are doing and what works. It doesn't matter if it's more socialistic or communistic versus democratic, whatever it is, there is still that happening. So, um, And if you see this is creating more wealth, this is working, we just need those good examples across the globe. City, smart city, smart towns, that's, that's doing a, a great job. And I think it will be interesting to see in... A few hundred years from now, if there's still countries as we see it today, uh, maybe it's like the internet. It's like smart cities, smart towns connected like the internet, like nodes, and there's frictionless or borderless kind of interaction um, and and business and flow. Um, I can see that kind of that kind of world um, because the the dangers that we face as humanity is anyway global. Uh, we are hyper connected societies like the civilization intellect. And we, we, if we can influence this intellect to, to really move in the right direction, it's going to be good for us, for all of us. So I, I know we've got some wars about territory, about religion, about many things. And it's so, uh, uh, it's really sad to see some of this as well. And I think if there's real wisdom, uh, if you're looking back, we will see that we can overcome these kind of things. And there are bigger problems that we need to look we need to be united as humanity. Even if we don't like, it's almost like globalization is going through all sorts of cycles because of this. But, but I do think in the future, there needs to be empathy and respect for cultures and we need to collaborate. And I even think with AI, we're probably going to see 
um, that it's going to be easy to communicate with other people in other languages because of what's happening with translations, real-time translations and stuff. Even if we don't all speak English or other languages, it's going to be more smooth and easy. So AI is going to help with better communication, I do think. Um, but we got to be smart. I think we've, we've already seen some um, dangerous experiments with humanity and we see mental health problems. That's why we've got AI-driven solutions around mental health. Um, and, and I do think, not, not only mental health, but, but I do think we need to look at the well-being of people. Um, and uh, that's going to be important. So, so, for instance, with social media, there's good and bad. And I think this information overload, um, identity crisis, when people keeping up with the Joneses and all sorts of stuff. Um, is, and, and also as humanity, it's easy for us to see what's going wrong in a different part of the world very quickly. And people can get demoralized and when they see it. In the past, that was kind of hidden from them. This is just their small world that they operate in. Now we're almost like plugged into this global conscious consciousness. Um, and and uh, so we have to take care of one another. I see a lot of good. Uh, there's currently the Rugby World Cup and Cricket World Cups. Um, South Africa is participating. And it is good to see how um, that can unite people as well, at least in a country uh, as well. So... Um, if we can just unite around uh, a massive tr transformative purpose that everybody feels inspired by. And that's what I talk about uh, in my book as well. So I do have this, this whole thing about um, sapience and, and stuff, but we can talk about that later.